Hello everyone. Welcome to next lecture in the series of MPPSC Health that is paper 2 part B. In today's lecture we are going to discuss preventive and curative health care and related schemes that is upcharatmak and nirodhatmak swasth sevayen aur unse judi government ki yojnayen. Start karte hain hamare lecture ko answer writing challenge ke sath. Aaj ke 3 markers hai promotive health care and MCTS. 6 markers ya 5 markers jo bhi aap likh hain. उसके लिए है मेंशन वेरियस स्टेप्स टेकन बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ एमपी फॉर प्रिवेंटिव हेल्थ केयर इस लेक्चर सीरीज के पहले वाले लेक्चर्स देखने के लिए आप आपके स्क्रीन के टॉप राइट कॉर्नर पे आई बटन पे क्लिक करके उन लेक्चर्स को देख सकते हैं सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द कांसेप्ट देखिए क्यूरेटिव हेल्थ केयर क्यूरेटिव हेल्थ केयर आर दोस हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज और सर्विसेज व्हिच इंटेंड्स टू क्योर और रिड्यूस सिम्टम्स ऑफ अ डिजीज और इलनेस इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट all healthcare services which are provided once a person fall ill or after the pathological action of disease has already started with the intention to cure that person so that is what curative healthcare is preventive healthcare ke bare mein agar janna chahe to healthcare services provided in order to prevent the person from disease or falling ill these services are provided before the pathological action of disease start prevention is any measure that aims to avoid or reduce the number of severity of injuries and diseases and their complications in future promotive health care though it can be considered as a part of preventive health care but separately if we want to study promotive health care then it is those services which are targeted towards improving overall well being and standard of human health for example yoga exercise etc this can also be considered as a part of preventive health care and as it prevents us from falling ill so that's the three concept curative health care preventive health care and promotive health care so let's see these concepts in details in explanation slide so if a person is already sick as you can see in the box and then if we are trying to cure him through various means such as first we diagnose him with a disease then we provide him medication such as insulin paracetamol or we can cure him via a surgery like organ transplantation open heart surgery etc or we can give him therapy such as chemotherapy etc so curative healthcare concept comes into picture once a person is diagnosed with a disease diagnosed positive with a disease let's say he is having cancer or he is having diabetes then all these curative healthcare measures come into picture on the next slide if we go we can see preventive health care you can see on your slide that there is a man healthy man standing and there is a circle of immunity covering him but then to his prone to diseases such as fever cancer aids and various viruses such as corona virus or diabetes anything but if we see we have many things to improve that immunity that is regular screening and health checkups immunization such as polio vaccine or improving lifestyle habits such as no tobacco no alcohol etc or having proper balanced diet we can have yoga exercise etc or proper sanitization all these things will help a person to build strong immunity and this immunity will help him to fight all these diseases and prevent the diseases from entering the human body so that is preventive healthcare and all those steps which are taking to assist these things or to strengthen the immunity of a person or to prevent him from falling sick or falling ill all those measures are known as preventive healthcare in indirect words if we say all those measures which increase the immunity circle or immunization of a person is known as preventive health care now let's see the schemes of government so there are some schemes which target both curative and preventive health care what are those schemes first is ayushman bharat abhiyan second you can see national health mission which comprises nrhm and nuhm both ayush mission national health policy right to health initiative of mp government and national program for prevention and control of diseases such as cancer diabetes cardiovascular diseases and stroke so all these these schemes target both curative as well as preventive health care there these are holistic health schemes of the government which target both the sectors that is curative health care also and preventive health care also now on the next slide if you see there are schemes related to curative health care alone first is national program for control and treatment of occupational diseases next is affordable medicine and reliable implant for treatment that is amrit yojana 
एन टी बी स्ट्रैटेजी बाई टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज डब्ल्यू एच ओ इनिशियटिव नेशनल एड्स कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम एंड एच आई वी नाइनटीन नाइनटी नाइनटी बाई Then there is Deen Dayal Mobile Hospital Scheme of MP Government, Deen Dayal Antyodaya Upchar Yojana of MP Government, Deen Dayal 108108 Ambulance Service Scheme by MP Government, Mukhya Mantri Bal Hriday Upchar Yojana by MP Government, and Mukhya Mantri Bal Shravan Upchar Yojana again by MP Government. So all these schemes are related to curative healthcare schemes. In this slide, we have included some initiatives of national government, some initiatives of WHO, and some initiatives of MP Government as well. so you can segregate these schemes as well and study now we can see preventive and promotive healthcare schemes so first scheme is universal immunization campaign that is mission indradhanush also is comprised in it pulse polio abhiyan then mothers absolute affection program jannani shishu suraksha karyakram national tobacco control program fit india movement wash initiative swachh bharat abhiyan ujwala yojana national nutrition mission राष्ट्रीय बाल स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम दस्तक अभियान एक्सेट्रा नाउ यू माइट बी थिंकिंग हाउ कम जननी सुरक्षा शिशु सुरक्षा योजना फिट इंडिया मूवमेंट वॉश इनिशिएटिव हाउ कम दीज बी प्रिवेंटिव हेल्थ केयर स्कीम्स सो जननी सुरक्षा कार्यक्रम और जननी शिशु सुरक्षा कार्यक्रम योजना व्हाट इट डज इट प्रिवेंट्स द जननी दैट इज मदर एज वेल एज शिशु दैट इज द न्यू बॉर्न चाइल्ड फ्रॉम वेरियस इन्फेक्शन इफ इफ वी हैव इंस्टीट्यूशनल डिलीवरीज देन द mother as well as the newborn is less vulnerable to new diseases so that indirectly prevents them from getting sick or getting a disease or catching a disease simultaneously tobacco control program if tobacco is been controlled that is smoking will be controlled chewing of tobacco is been controlled then what it will do it will prevent people from catching cancers like such as lung cancer such as mouth cancer and you might have all might have seen that advertisement coming in uh, whenever you are watching a movie that is mukesh advertisement so such type of advertisements are shown in in, in before the uh, movies before various programs so that people get aware and use less amount of tobacco simultaneously wash initiative swachh bharat abhiyan also swachh bharat abhiyan cleans the environment and reduces the vulnerability of catching communicable as well as non communicable diseases also ujwala yojana ujwala yojana in this yojana we have distributed lpg gas cylinders lpg gas cylinders helps the women uh, to gives the women a free uh, use of clean and green fuel and clean and this clean and green fuel helps her to cook cook food and saves her from the old method conventional method of wood wood firewood and coal and this has reduced the number of asthma cases in the rural areas so ujwala yojana can also be a linked scheme in health sector as well simultaneously there are other Uh, missions also like national nutrition mission and other schemes also available in this sector you can note down more schemes i have given some 12 schemes here apart from these there are several schemes targeting toward preventive and promotive health care now there are some technical interventions also the first one is electronic vaccine inventory network that is even second one is mother and child tracking system that is mcts arogya setu application national telemedicine network all these are technical intervention in the field of preventive as well as curative healthcare funded by government and developed by government for better implementation of certain schemes you can have many more such uh, technical interventions and you can note those down all as well now on the data point of vc i have collected some data though less in this this perspective because we have we are trying to cover the data in the specific scheme itself like budget allocation and all those scheme all those things we will cover in the future lectures in specific scheme based lecture so for instance we have some data that is only 10% is spent on preventive healthcare that is from budget document we have cited these data the second one is 95% immunization coverage is there in india this is a report from health ministry so these two datas you can use while writing your answers now we have way forwards what are the way forward since there is a popular notion that prevent prevention is better than cure hence the government should shift its focus towards preventive health services rather than curative health services next is there is a huge vacuum for technological intervention in the field of health and hence the government should promote the same 
The third one is government should take steps towards integration of curative, preventive and promotive healthcare so that we re reduce on the expenditure part as well as well as there is less infrastructure and more integration and more effectiveness in implementation of these schemes. So thanks for watching the lecture. You can connect us from connect us through various uh, networks like Facebook on Sculpt Academy, Instagram, YouTube. Also, you can join our Telegram group. Link has been given in the description box. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss important government schemes. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and stay tuned to the channel so that you can catch up more such interesting lectures. Till then, stay home, stay safe, study online. Thank you.